Okay. Yeah, the scissors. Thank you. <laughs> mm. So nice to see so many people I know and a few um, new guests. Welcome. Maybe you've been here before, but I'm not always here. Um, I'm delighted um, Geshe Damchala and I can uh, be here to do. Um, uh, I'd like to know the count, you know, maybe 20th <laughs> food ceremony. <laughs> it's, been, uh, it's really an important um, step. Uh, because uh, sometimes we use uh, we use the term refuge, so we're taking refuge in um, the jewels, taking refuge in the truth, taking refuge primarily in, in the Dharma, um, but we're also leaving something behind. So sometimes that's called um, renunciation. So that has such a biblical feel to it that sometimes it's not um, the best term. Uh, in, my Tibetan is limited, but um, the term that's used uh, generally is a nejo, so definite emergence. So the idea is we're definitely emerging from samsara, definitely emerging from um, our addictive and destructive patterns, de definitely emerging from our ignorance and our grasping and um, our aversion. <laughs> so to um, really have the uh, ceremony uh, click in, we're, we're leaving, we're definitely merging from one um, pattern and gaining support and uh, inspiration and wisdom uh, from another pattern. So the two go together, you see. Um, it's possible in our tradition, is it working now a little bit? So, okay. So, um, People can receive many teachings and impairments, but uh, if there hasn't been uh, a definite uh, desire, uh, a bodhicitta desire to emerge from samsara and gain support from um, the truth, then, then it's still kind of fuzzy, don't you think? <clears throat> So those those two energies. I'm I'm leaving something, or I'm I'm creating the um, intention, strong intention to leave something, and I'm creating the strong intention to receive help. Um, Buddha Dharma is not a um, psychotherapy self help project. Uh, it's a path of fundamental transformation of ourselves and our world and uh, requires us to uh, actually leave behind a certain pattern that's destructive and join with a pattern that is helpful and functional and aware. <clears throat> and a lot of times in America, we, we want to do um, a do-it-yourself self-improvement project. And um, we kind of ask for help. Um, but we ask for help in kind of a consultation way. Like, I'll take a little bit, and if that works, you know, maybe I'll use it, but if it doesn't work, I won't use it. Um, the help we're looking in the emotional feel of taking refuge is uh, we're, we've been um, tossed overboard <laughs> and in the water, and then uh, we're we're getting a life preserver or we're getting the Coast Guard to pick us up like that. So it's not, it's not a halfway kind of like thing. There has to be an emotional thing. Like I really need the help. Um, if we've ever been really lost or really abandoned or really um, in danger and someone um, helped us or saved us, or someone just get, you know, that there's that outpouring of gratitude, right? So it's different than kind of using the Lama or Geshe as a consultant, like, you know, I want to maximize my or minimize my tax burden. So, um, <laughs> or I, I just want a little advice and, you know, 
um, the emotional piece and the wisdom piece is that we're, we're really, um, uh, we really need this like that. Um, so there's this outpouring of gratitude and, and outpouring of celebration and outpouring of um, uh, words too. Right? So coming out of India, the big part of Indian um, culture and Tibetan and Mongolian too is gratitude, you know. So in India, uh, as Geshe and I know, like uh, they're long speeches. <laughs> if you give an award to somebody, then you go on for a long time how great they are. So that's why we have a long praise of Shakyamuni, right? Because the idea is to build up the gratitude and the relief of actually discovering. So. We're generally relieved, you know, when there's not a lot of traffic in California, but, you know, this would be taking refuge is real relief, like, um, you know, a war is ending, or you've gotten, you've finally gotten safe, or um, you're finally not drinking and drugging anymore, and you, you know, and you're, you know, you're strong in your recovery, like, wow. So there's relief and gratitude and inspiration. <clears throat> so the refuge ceremony in Buddhism in general is not like gaining some esoteric knowledge that allows you to, you know, kind of get your way through. It's a, a fundamental change in our orientation. Like that. Still, even when we change our motivation, um, there's uh, it's still climbing the mountain, right? Or in some cases, climbing out of the pit before you even get to the mountain. <clears throat> I like I like in refuge I more like climbing out of the pit because um, we're kind of you know we're in the darkness and then um, later when we take bodhisattva vows that's climbing the mountain because it's different when you're trying to help and teach others too right <laughs> so. Uh, in the past, we've also done bodhisattva vows, so maybe Geshe and I will do that also in the future. Um, Jadaram, she has given, right? Bodhisattva vows, right? <clears throat> so um, we have uh, six people, if I'm counting correctly. Um, <laughs> there, there was one ceremony where someone backed out at the last minute, which was totally cool. You know, it's like, um, I wish I'd done that with some things, not. Not, not, not Buddhist things. <laughs> no, I'm going to pass on that. I, you know, I'm going to back out. You know, so I cannot quite up for it. But uh, everybody actually um, coming today, um, I know really well, and has been around people here for a long time. So um, uh, your mantra should be the one um, that I say to myself. Uh, frequently, which is, I asked for all of this. <laughs> like that. So, um, and I'd like to also hear from Geshe Damshala, um, who are, um, uh, I've given a few minutes to prepare what he wants to say. So, would you like to make a few remarks? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Today and uh, we are in continue uh, refuge ceremony. So I like to this day because our in refuge the person a very young person. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I like to now. Mm, uh, Lama said in India, India, Tibet, Tibet to Mongolia, very long travel, long way going to Mongolia, right? Now is we are out in the United States, we said, in India, Tibet, Mongolia, going to the United States in Buddhist, the Buddha, the Buddha is in, uh, coming to this country, right? 
Okay. Now I like to now a young person when he study Ripu and coming to lost coming to temple of uh, visiting I like to really appreciate. Yes, and actually we are in a uh, young generation. Right? You see. Thank you, Jack. Maybe in the first in the refuge in a young person, right? Then after maybe in <coughs> lots and children uh, coming. Thank you. Yeah, actually in our, we are in a lots for too many years, uh, Lama and we are doing the refuge. The ceremony mm, are very good. Actually, it's very help to this uh, sacramental and Western rep, which actually is in, we have a precepts, five precepts. The five precepts through have a mind and have all on people, health and family, work, school, oh, looking for, oh, you see. Uh, very good person, very good children, very good students, right? Actually, he has a very good action, very good emotion. And very helpful. Now, in all these people, you know, all in, maybe in Sangha, right? You are here, and you are how many Sangha? The Jewish people. Oh, it's lots, right? Right, thank you. These people in the uh, uh, very helpful of the single being, right? Help of person I have preserves. My Ripush <coughs> person have a five preserves, and after in in a Buddhist Buddhist people and terminology because and three Jews believe whoever person and Buddhist person Dharma text Dharma say and. Uh, I believe in Buddha, I believe in Dharma, I believe in Sun. In, in Buddhist, today in uh, Jack, uh, people are, uh, uh, what do you is uh, uh, religion? Yeah, yesterday until we were some people in school and uh, I was asking, and, uh, what do you, some people are non, non religion. Oh, no, I have, I have perception. I have. What do you mean? I believe you and teach you. Very like, very happy. Right? And uh, how old are you? How old are you? First, what is a good age? Actually, and the uh, Dharma, the uh, when I say eight years old, are uh, Perception and organ. Your twelve is in a good day. <laughs> That's uh, some temple and some Buddhist school, eight years old, coming to Gauss and Dharma, and maybe in the five years, six years, seven years old, no understanding, right? <laughs> no, cannot do not understand. Now it's eight years, twelve years old. <clears throat> Perception, not telling. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, a few other things before we, um, you know, read through what I like calling the um, refuge sadhana. I have. Um, Two cards here, which I'm going to, after the ceremony, put back on the table in the library area for people to sign. Um, Geshe Damchala uh, took his citizenship test and went through the ceremony a couple of weeks ago and passed. So, <laughs> so uh, that's really an important step, and um, I'm not sure I could pass the test exactly. So <laughs> Geshe is a good student, study hard. Um, this will allow him to travel easier. Um, and um, uh, next year, 
will be going uh, back to India to uh, stay at the Tantric Monastery at Guto and Dharamsala and um, uh, learn more and memorize more and get less sleep, you know. <laughs> so um, I'm delighted, you know, that, you know, now, now actually, you know, next year should be okay to travel, you know. We still have to travel smart, you know, but um, so, you know, the citizenships are not for him alone, but for us, for Dharma, and for us to benefit from his teachings, and we'll miss him, but I'll be um, really a um, wonderful combination, and then there'll be more after that, right? So I do want to have um, a fund for Geshe Damsala in, in the future starting so he can, of course, travel easily and then, um, you know, go on some retreats. So, um, you know, Geshe Damsala and I are very much the same in that we're, um, we've stayed in one spot and spend a lot of time with people, right? And you can meet with him, you can meet with me. Um, it's rare to uh, have private meetings with teachers. As I've mentioned to my Darshan students here, probably none of you have really had time to, or been invited to have one-on-one -on -one, um, interviews with the visiting teachers, right? Because, you know, they're teaching and then they're onto something else. But uh, Geshe Damsha is really available and um, uh, I want to dedicate some time and energy so he can uh, you know, do his individual retreat time, which he has done in the past too, but also you know, um, it's important for me too, right? We have to do our retreats, particularly, um, you know, we've promised we'd do a Tara retreat to Jada Rinpoche and um, next month on January 14th, Saturday, um, Cancer Rinpoche, Losan Delek, who's been here before, briefly will be bestowing the uh, Vajogini empowerment, which is huge. Um, so uh, if we do that, then uh, we do some kind of daily practice and eventually we want to do retreat and the fire push and everything that um, my teach you Geshe Ojan, um, have me do Kala Chakra retreat and uh, Vajir Gini retreat. And they're slightly different tantras, you know, <laughs> so you have to really pay attention. Okay, this this is this color over here, and this has this, you know, one, you know, one has a illusory body and one doesn't, right? But uh, it would be wonderful if we could, as a Sangha, you know, be doing Kala Chakra and Vajir Gini. This is very, very close to Dalai Lama and close to our Gelug lineage, you know, these two very strong tantras. What do you think? Okay, give a little pitch there. So, um, Michelle, why don't you hold on to these so, so I don't forget, and we can put them out. And some people have already signed. It's neat to hold on to those and then look at them 10 years from now, you know? Okay, so uh, this, I put together the ceremony, which I call the refuge sadhana. Um, and now I understand uh, occasionally Matthew is able to meet with people Sunday nights and do it, correct? 7 p.m. So um, sometimes people ask, well, what should I be doing now that I've, you know, all of you have received teachings already? And I said, well, are you redoing the refuge ceremony because it has everything there, right? Has the precepts, has the mantra of Shakyamuni Buddha, has has everything, right? So they go, oh, okay. <laughs> so at least do this, right? And shamatha, of course, right? You have to do shine, have to do the sitting meditation, right? Who who loves doing shine practice just sitting? Yeah, I know. See, it's great. It works, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> now we should start. Visualize your father on your right side and your mother on your left. Surrounding you, imagine the innumerable sentient beings of the six realms. Realize that all sentient beings are your kind mothers of past and future lives and that they suffer just as you do. Then generate deep compassion for them and think, I must attain the high state of Buddhahood 
in order to help all these beings. Now that you have produced a special virtuous mind, visualize the field of assembly. Imagine in the sky before you a jeweled throne, which is high and wide, supported by eight great lions. Upon it is a cushion that is a mandala of multicolored lotus, moon, and sun. Seated upon this is your own root teacher appearing as Shakyamuni Buddha. His body is the color of purified gold, and he has a crown protuberance upon his head. His right hand is touching the earth, and his left is in the gesture of meditative equipoise. Upon it is a begging bowl filled with the nectar of blessings. His body is beautifully covered with the three saffron-colored religious robes of a monk. He sits cross-legged in the middle of an hour of light, and his heart is Vajradhara Buddha, and in Vajradhara Buddha's heart is the blue home radiating light. Behind Shakyamuni Buddha is another lion throne with a cushion of lotus, moon, and sun, upon which Vajradhara is seated, surrounded by teachers belonging to the lineage of the blessing of practice. On Shakyamuni Buddha's right is Maitreya, surrounded by teachers in the lineage of extensive deeds, and on his left is Manjushri, surrounded by teachers in the lineage of profound view. In front of Shakyamuni Buddha sits your gracious root teacher, just as you see him when receiving his teachings. He is surrounded by the teachers with whom you have a religious connection, those in direct lineage from Buddha down to your own root teacher. <clears throat> Encircling them are first the assemblies of Buddha devas, and then in turn the Buddhas, bodhisattvas, self-enlightened ones, hearers, heroes, heroines, protectors of the Dharma, and other wisdom deities. In front of each, on a jeweled stand, in their own religious teachings appear as volumes of scripture, whose nature is light. Inconceivable manifestations of each of the assembly radiate to the ten directions, subduing all sentient beings according to their capacities. Envision that the entire assembly is gazing at you with great joy. The next recite, I go for refuge to the Buddha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of all the Buddhas, including Vajradhara and others. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all other beings, they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the body, speech, and mind of the Buddhas have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Buddhas. Then recite, I go for refuge to the Dharma. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the scriptures. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all others, they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the Dharma have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Dharma, then recite, I go for refuge to the Sangha. <clears throat> Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of the assemblage of wisdom beings, protectors of the Dharma, heroes, heroines, self-enlightened ones, hearers and bodhisattvas. As these streams empty the bodies and minds of yourself and all others, they purify everyone from all the defilements. After considering the blessings of the Sangha have entered you and all others think, we have all come under the protection of the Sangha. All objects of the refuge then say, we are your protectors, refuge and allies, ready to deliver you from the suffering of cyclic existence. As they recite this clearly, promising to help you rejoice. Thus, with deep prayer and with tears pouring forth from your eyes and the hairs of your body standing on end, go for refuge. After you've gone for refuge in this way, go for refuge to conjoining it, with generation of the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. Just as a warrior in a fierce battle wishes to protect not only himself, 
but also as relatives and friends, you should chiefly think of the needs of sentient beings. Recite, I go for refuge until enlightenment to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of all the members of the field of assembly. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all others and purify everyone from all defilements, the bodies of all are transformed into pure, clear light. All merit, lifespan, and all knowledge of both aspects of the Dharma are expanded and increased in everyone. Think. The blessing of the three jewels have entered myself and all others. Now meditate deeply on generating the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. A duplicate form of Shakyamuni Buddha enters your body and you become Shakyamuni Buddha. Rays of light emanate from your transformed body and strike all sentient beings who have been your mother and father, visualizing them purifying them of their defilements and alleviating their suffering. Visualize the mantra in a circle around your heart. Then recite, Hayat Om Muni Muni Maha Muni Soha Hayat Om. Leta oh muni muni maha muni so ha. Think I'm establishing them in the high state of Shakyamuni Buddha. So now precepts. Having taken refuge, we pledge to uphold the five precepts in order to support our Dharma practice and the Dharma practice of others. We take the five precepts. I undertake the precept of refraining from killing. I undertake the precept of refraining from stealing. I undertake the precept of refraining from lying. I undertake the precept of refraining from sexual misconduct. I undertake the precept of refraining from alcohol. I acknowledge each and every misdeed. I rejoice in the virtue of living beings. I hold in my mind the thought of enlightenment in the Buddha. To Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until enlightenment in order to fully accomplish the purposes of others. I will generate the aspiration for enlightenment. At the end of the session, envision a ray of light radiating from Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni Buddha then melts into the space between your two eyebrows. Imagine that you have received the blessing of all the field of assembly. Rest in meditation. Can we do one minute?
I'll recite, after generating this superior aspiration, I will cherish all sentient beings and perform the beautiful highest deeds of enlightenment. May I achieve Buddhahood to help sentient beings. That would be, that's a nice practice to do Sunday evening before some of us go back to work, don't you think? <laughs> so let's see here. Um, so we're, I'm going to call people forward and um, uh, they do some um, prostrations. Um, how many are we having them do, Susan? Okay. So we're letting you guys off easy, you know, because lots of times you do, uh, you know, sometimes three to Buddha Dharma Sangha, and then you do three to your preceptors. So, you know, you know, you know that some people have bad knees like me. So, so some traditions, they have people do nine, you know, like that. So, and then I'll ask you, um, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> and then, I'll, I'll ask, uh, you know, may I cut your hair, symbolizing, you know, um, ab abandoning the uh, eight worldly dharmas. Does anybody remember? Can you recite the eight worldly dharmas? Anybody want to be brave? Pleasure, pain, gain and loss. Do we get all eight? So, gain and loss, pain and pleasure, praise and blame, fame and obscurity. So, I think that's sometimes the hardest, you know, we want, um, we want people to see that we're really successful Dharma practitioners sometimes. <laughs> um, but in our tradition, um, we, we do want to help others, but we're also willing to be transparent about our issues, right? So we can, we can say, you know, I'm really willing to help you out, but, um, you know, I uh, can help you on that project, but if I do too much, I'll just get angry with you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or I, I really like to help you out with that, but um, at some point I'll, you know, be beyond my, um, you know, capabilities, right? And I might screw it up. Or I really like to help you in other ways. I'm just not going to help you out with that. So that's how we've kind of kept it sane, you know, just so we don't have to be idealistic. Like I'll always help you out no matter what. Please don't say that. Right. We take the bodhisattva aspirations and refuge, but like, don't say to yourself, like, from now on, I have to make every single um, Dharma meeting, or I'm not a good Buddhist. That, that's a setup, right? Yeah, we're pract we do practical Dharma, right? So when we cut this, this is mean we're, we're um, having a practical Dharma haircut, <laughs> not, not idealistic or yeah that's right so that so okay so people come up make actually uh offering and kata to myself and to gishla um personally i think it's it's totally cool that um you have your two teachers here um not all our teachers can be here but um Usually it's just one person. So I always want to emphasize um, uh, the, the ultimate refuge is, is the Dharma. And, you know, Keshla are here to help. And it's not just one person, you know, it's, it's all of us together, right? So I always want to emphasize uh, the teamwork aspect, right? So um, we may like our teachers' personalities or we may not. But um, if they're teaching correct dharma, then, then that's, that's what we want, right? Because, of course, we, we, we know Lama Sankapa's and Shakyamuni's personality must have been, you know, fairly good. But we, 
Lama Sankaba, particularly known for very, very, very even, very, very, like much, a lot of shamatha, very, very steady, right? Not, you know, very steady. But that's not why we're doing Dharma, because someone's personality is great. We're doing because they're telling us the truth, right? So even the, some teachers can be quite kind of cranky, you know? Um, <laughs> but but they're telling, they're t- teaching the truth, right? They don't always, you don't, they, that, they may not be funny or eloquent or may be kind of boring, but they're teaching the truth, correct? Yeah, you know that. So um, I'd like to call up Elias here. Oops. <clears throat> So make her find Takeshna. Oh, don't go away. <laughs> it is yeah if you can if you can if you want to yeah that's easier yeah that's tough so do you know what you're doing I do, yeah. what are you doing i'm taking refuge within buddhism i am a, i'm taking aspirations to that's good yeah. I'm gonna do my best. Oh, okay. may, may I cut your hair? Oh, let's see. I wish I had your hair. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, I found a name for you Yeshe Tarpa, uh, Awareness Liberation. So sometimes we forget liberation, you know, we want to be liberated from samsara, liberated from the kleshas. So I'm going to pass this over to Gesha so he touches it too. So and you go over and then he can hand it to you, right? It's important. Yeah. Real name is the Dharma name Ishikara. This is the wisdom. How was the liberation? The liberation is not so easy. Oh, we are all in. Uh, and some sort of something or we study that we are all fun. We will be very free, free and very good. Thank you, uh, good, deep study, uh, and um, our poor teacher can do the stuff and stuff and stuff and listen to lots and knowledge this time. Now you uh, online. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, what you can do is more to study to listen. Thank you. Where you are, name is on the This are we actually we are talking, and Dharma name we are using is very important. Why not? Make sure it's Sangha Jnana Ishi Tarpa Ishi Nyama Ishi Sapa. And actually, it's very traditional. And we are talked to and have all a name in using. Yeah. Thank you, Shita. <laughs> Good. Mm. Then, uh, um, where's Daniel? There he is. Yeah, thank you.
you're doing okay. what are you doing <laughs> you know that makes sense you know i was like because one time after the, you know i was at kaiser and uh you know they put a band around but um you know and they ask you what your birthday and your name is that makes sense but they don't they don't always check the chart how many nurses are here not today yeah so oh hi brad so like like they started to work on the wrong hand seriously but you know we don't work at kaiser so it's okay. anyway so enough of that so you know what you're doing yes yeah, yeah good so that's now cutting off some sorrow <laughs> so um this uh booklet we have the refuge we have the creed, renounce all unwholesome states, cultivate all wholesome states, train your heart, mind, thus have all the Buddhas taught. Then the five precepts, right? We already done. Then eightfold path. Sometimes I used to ask people, maybe Susan was like, okay, no, you have to recite some of these, right? <laughs> then four noble truths and friendly, um, uh, you know, for the four seals, right? So this is good reference, right? Every once in a while, I'll look at it. So, um, Yeshe Trinli, like, uh, Trinli is like activity, you know, Buddha activity. Yeshe is like awareness, wisdom, like that. So, uh, I know you're a very active person. <laughs> Trinli, yeah. Trinli. Yeah. Uh, we, we are give to in other name. In English, activities, right? Yeah, activity, activities. Yeah. Now, actually, they are very easy meaning. And Buddha, he is uh, Buddha activity, right? Buddha activity, Buddha, he is enlightened. Buddha activity actually is all, is no hard work, no hard job. It's in uh, what you're doing, within teaching, and no, and not too hard. Actually, it's very easy activity. Maybe your job, you're really studying and very really active. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Now, uh, is she thing? Mm -hmm. A good name. Actually, you are in this one, are, you know, we are in the refuge and the certificate, yeah, right? That's right? And actually, it is, and we are whoever in order to uh, uh, give to some Buddha. And this, uh, our in, uh, traditional in this, uh, uh, and this certificate. Oh, I have said that this one very good in taking refuge and creed and five precepts and uh, ten novel eight fold part. Sometimes you, I said that you read, oh, how many in uh, eight fold, <laughs> right? Or right and stand. Uh, this good, right? Uh, and right intention, what, uh, right speech. This is speech very important. Yeah. We are very mm -hmm. nicely, right? Nicely talk and ask something. Oh, this is very good. Because so we are needed in speech. Speech will really pop. Thank you. Thank you. I made the um, certificate this way because um, sometimes uh, people forget uh, when and where and who, right? Um, and uh, <laughs> I've been around like so uh, with one center I was at um, you'd, you'd get a card but it wouldn't have your name on it 
So people, <laughs> this is like Dharma stories, okay, silly, but people would trade their Buddha names. <laughs> this is like, you know, California in the 80s, you know, so, you know, it's like, I don't like mine, you know, so you, you <laughs> seriously, so, you know, like, <laughs> I know what your name is, but you, you know, so you, you can't just do it, and then, then, of course, you know, who and, and where, where you took is important, right, makes a difference, you know, <laughs> done it all, so, Sasha, In your own words, yeah. yeah. I'm taking refuge in the yeah. 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 This teacher. Yeah. This teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so this is a this is a little out anyway, so I'm doing you a, I'm doing you a favor. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that looks better now. <laughs> Uma. So this one's um, kind of unique, you know. So, um, Yeshi Yang Zen. So, don't see that very, maybe I made it up. You know, Zen means to hold. Yang's kind of like song or melody, like Saraswati, right? So, Yang Zen means a, a like melody holder holding, but it has to do with speech too. It's not just music, like Geshe was saying. So much in the, the Buddha had right speech, the Buddha taught, you know, so much is the, the, the voice. So, that's why I thought this would be a good name for you. Yeah, holder of the melodious voice like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Saraswati is a deity. It's yeah. actually is in uh, um, uh, some deity in the Namse, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Saraswati. This one actually, Yang Yang actually Tibetan name. Yang is actually very about the also. Oh no, it's funny. Lots, uh, actually, example, right? There's some people in, uh, in uh, example, example, right? Some people in lots money, yeah, right? Lots, lots money. And some people in lots uh, have decent example. Youngs in this one, all in the, uh, he's in, in, uh, uh, in money, in the, uh, how about this? It's on, he's in, uh, keep. Keep, right? Maybe yeah. you in a, but yeah. music and very the holding. You're holding it. See, you're, hold. it doesn't leak out. Music you hold. know, you have music. yeah hold. holding. Good, good uh, uh, danger. Mm -hmm. danger. Yeah. Actually, all <laughs> well, you can gather it together and hold it. You can yeah. use it. You see, it's it's like it's not just flits away. It's this power. Yeah, denotes power. power. 
Yeah, and so, uh, you seem very yeah. good in the uh, music, in money, and all that, and job, and some children. And actually, in the uh, Tibetan, you know, the main name of uh, woman name is different. Yeah. In Yang Jing, actually, so, um, <laughs> right? <laughs> and Doma, Rin Jing, Chung Zong, actually, so, Tibetan name is yeah. really different. Now, uh, I don't know, it's uh, American, maybe different name, right? A little uh, different. Uh, women's maze, right? A little slightly different. Yeah, different yeah, uh, yeah, usually. Young Not girls. always, yeah. Thank you. It's more than. <laughs> uh, Bill, here you are. <laughs> These are very sharp, actually. So, do you know what you're doing? What are you doing? Yes, student of Dharma. Very good. So, may I cut your hair? Yeah. So, Yeshi Zangpo, so, um, goodness man. <laughs> so, the goodness isn't just like, you know, normal goodness. You know, of course, we want you to be good, then you're good guys. You know, but the goodness is the, the, the real goodness of uh, the Buddha nature, right? It's like, mm, so I was a philosophy major, like Plato said, we're, we want to pursue the good. We want the good, you know. So um, this is a very apt name, you know. So um, and, uh, and the goodness isn't just the personal goodness, the real Dharma richness, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Geshe I know has something to say. It's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's important. You see Sambo. Sambo is like, that's good. It's all is good, yeah? Good, good. He's a good job. He's a good... Good guy, just to know, he's an actually very good, he's mind, he's very tall and two-headed. Actually, my name is yeah. <laughs> Tukta Sambo. Yeah. My ordained name is Tukta Sambo. Tukta is in Bhagavad Rinpoche, he's in 13th Lama, Dalai Lama, he's take to you, he's in Wow. Yeah. In Tukta, Tukta. Bhagavad Rinpoche, give me in Tukta Sambo. Yeah. <laughs> my heart in the yeah. is the sample. Actually, my other which is said, I said, Thank you, Jenna. Actually, you the sample. Oh, yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Give the sample. Yeah. No, you see sample. Tutu means like Buddha's teachings, you know, so, so Zampa is just like, uh, yeah, you know. Um, <clears throat> uh, then uh, Jen. Mm. 
giving up the crazy did you, you guys heard that yeah. okay <clears throat> may I cut your hair yeah thank you so um, <clears throat> yes it's so gal so <laughs> okay so <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, famous, kind of famous name, <clears throat> but you know. So, when the the lake is the lake of uh, realization, right? So you want to be a realization queen, right? So um, you own it, you know. So queen is you you own it. You have a territory. <clears throat> so you can't say, well, um, I'm doing dharma, but. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll gain realization or maybe not, or maybe I'm doing it, maybe not. So this means like you're really owning it, saying, I'm doing this. Like you're, um, it's your territory. Of course, Yeshi Sogyo, as people know, um, <clears throat> had a very difficult life, you know? So, um, you know, Jen, a long time, so had difficulties, right? But triumphs over difficulties, um, difficult practicing as a female and difficult practicing this time. So of course, when you look at historic issues, so go people tend to think, oh, Gurumshe and teachings, but you know, if people read um, biography, very, you know, everyone's made big sacrifices here for Dharma. In fact, usually when we're doing Dharma practice, our samsaric life takes a hit. So it's only kind of, um, my Whoa. teacher used to say, oh, you're doing you're doing Presbyterian Dharma. I said, what do you mean, Geshla? And he'd go, you're trying to do some, be successful in samsara and Dharma at the same time. So that's not possible, right? So many of us who've had struggles with samsara, we should think we're samsara failures, but Dharma success, right? So you don't want to think I've got to be, that's just Protestant thinking, sorry, I can say Presbyterian because I grew up that way. You know, were you supposed to be rich and enlightened at the same time? But Yeshi Sogi, of course, historically, you know, had a very difficult time. And uh, so, but uh, so, of course, Jen uh, took refuge with me a long time ago and then has gone through a long difficulties and now miraculously through workings of cause and effect and karma, here you are. <laughs> but we shouldn't think, Dharma names are not personal names, right? They're, they're names of our Buddha qualities that he can manifest uh, through practice, right? So it isn't like now I have another personal name. That would be misunderstanding, right? It's more like the, the Dharma qualities um, are, are there. So I'm, I'm interested in what, you know, for Geshla. <clears throat> So kill, yeah. Yeah. Wait list. Mm, like, 
Not rattlesnake, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my baby. <laughs> no, no, lake. Queen, yeah, lake queen. Yeah, lake queen. He's, he's going to Mongolia. But now, now that'll, that's your nickname now. <laughs> like so, like so, Pema, like a lake would be, yeah, lake. Yeah, lake. Oh, and gal, gal, yeah, so. Oh, tall. Yeah. Ocean, right? Yeah, like ocean. Huge, right? Yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Gal like queen. Yeah, he's in his father is Tala is in the Tala Mongolian name, right? Yeah. Tala Lama is like Tala is in ocean. Right. And what do you ocean? And the Tala Lama he is in he is in knowledge. He is very very good in the education knowledge. He is very good in the um the knowledge. Yeah, very good in his father is Tala Lama. But the third Dalai Lama is Mongolian people give to uh, name in Dalai Lama. Dalai is actually his knowledge, his education, when he, the Russian said, it's in talks and talks and talks. They use the same, you know, when he you know, when he died, you know, you see the way. Talk in the Russian in, in the river in the same way. Good. Thank you. Okay, Jack, you're up. <laughs> oh, money, pay me home. 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 you're doing yes what are you doing taking refuge for the benefit of all sentient beings right answer yeah. okay <laughs> yeah. okay so may I, I take a bit of your hair to symbolize you're leaving samsara yeah i got plenty you do <laughs> you, get this. you want that one okay that, that's kind of annoying yes uh -huh. got it what's oh, like steel okay. <laughs> Mm. Yes, hey, Sopa. So, uh, Sopa means patience. That's my refuge name, too. Yeah, <laughs> patience. That So much can be gained from that. Antidote to anger, right? So, um, it's huge, you know, it's like, so difficult. Anger is difficult to deal with, you know? So sometimes it seems like it's okay to get through desire, like, but you know, if someone calls us by the wrong name or does cut us off in traffic or screws us over, we get angry, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it's a very profound practice, you know, like that. Of course, you know, we have example of Lama Zopa Ramshay here, you know, on the planet, very long, you know, very patient forbearance, right? Huge. So that's really important. Give to Keshla, yeah. Thank you. This is so far. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, He he is in what is at the British area. Yeah. And proved and very good, very important subject. Right. Yeah. Now 
Somebody is you a very gift, a very good man. Now is it uh, maybe it's you in a good, very long time. You are old to any old people in meeting, in studying, this time, very good, you can fish. Yes, yes, I do, I do, you are not. <laughs> Answer, very good person. That's an uh, AC chopper. Thank you, it's a chopper. Uh, and it's a chopper, but she's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He, he's never a chopper. <coughs> you same person, yeah. The chopper, which is mm. very good, is the Lama. He's a very <coughs> good mission. He's in all time. There is a practice. But actually, he's in nighttime, no sleep. Yeah, he's in Yeah, there's yeah. a little sleep and get up and study in meditation and all for a way blessing going to all parties <clears throat> offer to water offer and he is in room and maybe in a one day in 118 all the boiling in water mm -hmm. he is in a very the frustration and offering room is always <clears throat> good to uh, practice thank you and it should stop that <laughs> Every morning when I leave the house, I I say, okay, uh, don't get angry today. <laughs> the patience, yeah. So Geshe Sopa um, was a friend of my teacher, and he was like um, the one of the first Geshe's, um, along with um, Geshe Wangil to come to America and he taught in Madison, you know, and uh, taught at the university level, which is quite something. His scholarship was so great. I mean, he just went over the, you know, American universities very, back in the 70s, 60s, they didn't know anything about Tibet really, you know, but his scholarship was so incredible, just went over to be professor right away. University of Wisconsin, an incredible teacher, and, and he has a, like a autobiography out. A bi I mean, a biography out. Someone's aware of that. It's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. He's very famous in the army. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Books. <clears throat> yeah. That's it. Yeah, and he has. Uh, um, he did many teachings on Lamrim, and uh, one of the main things he taught on is karma. You know, so a lot of times people think, oh, karma is really easy. You know, karma is very intricate. You know, so uh, I recommend. So that uh, concludes our ceremony, but it's not um, over till we dedicate the merit for all beings. And um, there's uh, some snacks and um, some celebration um, traditionally afterwards in the dojo, correct? Okay. Waiting for the electronic dharma. No, that's okay. Yeah. There we are. We're patient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chenrezig, Tenzin Gyatso, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Low song, magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones, merciful giver of a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators. Please remain always unperishing, unchanging, and fading. Avalokiteshvara, great treasure of objectless compassion, Manjushri, master of flaws, wisdom, Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire host of Mars. Tsongkhapa, crown jewel of the snowy land sages, Lo Sang Dragpa, I make requests at your holy feet. Very good.
Thank you, Jose. Yeah, let me make one first, though, a little bit. So um, this month also is um, um, we celebrate uh, through the Festival of Lights, um, uh, you know, Ganda Namcha. So it's uh, Lama Songkhapa Day, so that's what we say in English. Uh, and um, I've decided to do it in the, actually the evening of the 19th. We could do it during the day, but um, it's so nice. Yeah, it's technically 18th, Sunday 18th. Um, so we can do it home too, and who's ever leading also can do Dirk. Yeah, Dirk will do. But um, uh, in the evening, uh, it, it, it's really fantastic when we light a lot of lamps and um, outside too, and we bought some uh, candles, you know, to carry. So we can do Cora, circumambulation. Yeah. All right, while we're doing Mixma, we just did Mixma, right? So, um, and, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of, um, you know, you know, Gura Puja or something, you know, <laughs> but at least, um, you know, do the lights. And I'll tell the story of um, Lama Sankapa um, briefly. Uh, uh, you know, I think of Lama Sankapa, I think of my own teacher, very, very steady, you know, and uh, consistent, um, very fierce, but steady, you know, so not, let, not, not letting anything drop. So Lama Sankapa had this encyclopedic vision, not just scholarship, like all, it seemed like everything fit together. So he was very good at really putting forth um, uh, what what we think of now as a coordinated program, you know, which is which was very unique at the time to like encyclopedia, like all all the pieces fitting together, but in a in a um, smooth way, right, in a very consistent way, you know. So we're benefiting from uh, all the schools of Dharma in Tibet now, and in the West have been are benefiting from that coordinated kind of uh, university approach in a way, right? You know how to pull all the pieces together so um well that's the 19th and we'll have um some a song right andrew's coming yeah hi raise your hand yeah and and come on and and we'll be lighting um you know lamps butter lamps and we're just regular candles too okay good Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Very good. Now, yeah, now, Penny. Okay. Uh, maybe take a break today, you know, because we might go a little over. So maybe not today. Yeah, take a break. We usually do the Kala Chakra, the two-armed Kala Chakra um, at two o'clock that um, John Ramshe gave the Jainung on. It's just incredible. And, you know, like, I know I have a full day here, but I try to make it all a retreat. So when I think, like, he found just the right text and how to translate it. So you can do that, the Kala Chakra practice in like a half an hour. It's really amazing, right? Very, very compassionate. Now, Patty. Oh, thank you. I, I, I just wanted to say just really briefly that when you talk about uh, the coordinated program, I mean, that's so how it feels for me here <laughs> with all the expressions and, and you and Geshe Damcho and um, helping people through the Middle Way Health Foundation and it all feels, and then all of us here today. But um, so thank you so much for creating such a beautiful mandala. And, and then the, the last thing I wanted to say is that the Vajra Yogini um, empowerment and the White Tar empowerment, you can find out more about it on the website. So if you just go to Lions or Dharma Center, it'll, it'll show up pretty easily and you can register there. And um, if you register early, that really helps us in planning. So that's so appreciated. So that's uh, all I wanted to say. Yes, we should remind maybe if Dirk's still listening. So uh, um, Donna, the director at the Kadamba Center in North Carolina, said um, she's willing to do online. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we can open it up to um, online also. It stays kind of registration only, you know, like, so you still have to register to be online. But um, I would emphasize uh, strongly that uh, people here try to come in person. Um, Rimshe, um, Prince Rimshe was born uh, in 1939. So one of the last teachers, you know, he's 84, you know, still, you know, old, old school, but he's a lovely person. He's just really lovely. So it's important to be within someone's energetic mandala. You know, of course you get things through video, but um, uh, even if you just take it as a blessing, you'll get something. And I'm just putting a pitch for that, you know. So uh, and, uh, for me, you know, uh, I receive it as a blessing and empowerment because he, he's got, you know, it's very interesting. So it's worth coming in person if you can. That's January 14th, Omaha. <laughs> now we should have like the exit music, you know? So, <laughs> you know, I don't know. You could do some, you know, like we are the champions. I don't know. Some... <laughs> Oh, no.